My name is... to be drawing and watercoloring a farm. So, first you're going to get your pencil that doesn't say someone's name and <clears throat> what's, so, the, what's the first step, Becky? You stop drawing the land to your farm. So you draw, start off with grass and then you draw the background. Actually, no, we're going to do that second. <laughs> We're going to draw a farmhouse! Wow! Did I mention to draw very lightly? So you can you can do that. Alright! Remember to draw very lightly so you can erase later and watercolor. So then you just add a lot of grass and to your house you have to draw the floor so you can walk on it and then you're gonna add your door make sure the door is very very realistic add a doorknob and then right next to it you add a window so windows are all let you breathe in the fresh air that's outside because you're on a farm and you Okay. 
chickens. The chickens are the most important part of the farm. They produce the milk, the meat, and the eggs. So, we're going to... <laughs> so now with the chickens. First, to draw a chicken, you draw an oval. That's what chickens' bodies look like. And then you're going to draw a head, another circle. But it's not quite an oval because that's what chickens look like. Then you're gonna draw its little feet. I'm very, I'm very explanatory or whatever it's called. And then you draw its beak. And then you're gonna draw an eye. Draw the wing and add details to the beak. That's your chicken. Now draw a more. I'm very good at drawing chickens so I can do it really quickly. Oh yeah, don't forget to add the baby chicks because they produce most of the milk. Alright, as soon as you have all your chickens, we need to move on to the cows because cows, they're not that important. All they really do is eat grass and get fat and hoof on your land. It makes it really flat for your farming. So, right next to the fence line, we're going to draw the cows because I always see cows right next to the fence line trying to escape their desolated prison of a tiny plot of land. <laughs> so, draw it right next to the fence. No, 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 I'm going to teach you. And let's start out with the large oval. <laughs> yes, very good. Now draw the legs and the tail. And then you're going to draw the head. So, your cow is going to be a breed between a cow a bull and a long horn, so make sure it has horns. This is what horns look like, by the way. Make sure they're very pointy. Now you're going to draw the cow's snout. This is what a cow's snout looks like. Looks like a face. <laughs> make sure the cow's snout is very lovely and elegant like the cow. And then you're going to draw eyes. And you're going to draw eyebrows. And then you're going to draw, just fill in the eyes, and then you're going to add texture to your cow, like fur. And then you're going to draw a pile of poop right next to it, because that's what cows do. Very lovely! So, next we're going to draw the pigs, because pigs produce bacon, and bacon feeds off our dogs. draw little rounded right there. You draw the legs to the pig and then you draw its curly tail because that's what pig's tails look like. You draw ears <clears throat> and then you draw its weird pig nose and eyes. Make sure it looks a little put like little squinty because pigs are very blind. So the last thing we're going to draw is a dog because dogs are the leaders of the farm. They make sure the chickens do their part, make sure they die and they give us meat. They make sure the pigs are turned into bacon to feed them. And then they make sure the cows are stomping the field. So, you're drawing the dog without me. So you're gonna start out by drawing legs, four to be exact. And then you draw around it. Kind of looks like a squid, but it's not. You draw a tail, and then you draw a circle for its very large head. But make sure you leave room for the snout. Dogs have very long snouts, so they can. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then you draw the ears, and then they they like to balk at the um at the things at the. They have whiskers because it's a cat dog. It's a cat dog. Alright, this is this is what your your sketch should look like so far. Mine is clearly better, but your students, your learning, your 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 fresh spirit in in the in the learning 